Okay, good news. Apple finally opened the option to perform A-B tests of your app's store page in the App Store. The bad news? It's not as easy as it is with Google Play. First of all, if you don't seem to have the product page optimization side menu button on your app page, then go right now to the link I've attached in the resources, click it and enable it there. After you enable it, these options on the side menu should be available for all of your apps including the product page optimization. Great, now we have the option to create the App Store A-B tests, which actually goes by the fancy title product page optimization. Once you create a new product page optimization experiment, you will notice that you can easily switch between the positions of the different screenshots for the different sizes and languages. Which is great, since you better test your screenshots and see if their position does make a difference, right? You can also try a different app preview video or try out completely newly designed screenshots. But where is the option to test the icon you might be thinking? Well, apparently it's not that intuitive. To test your icons, you will need to package the different icons in your library, upload a new version, wait for it to get approved by Apple, attach it to a new version submission and wait for the new app version to be available for sale in the App Store, like you always do. Only then you will have the option to test the icons by creating a new product page optimization. Let's go over the technical steps for the process I just talked about. You will need to create a folder in the same folder of your info.plist file and name it resources. Your icon variations should be then created in that folder in the following format. First icon.png, first icon at 2x.png, first icon at 3x.png, the second icon .png, second icon at 2x.png, second icon at 3x.png. You need to grade them in the right sizes, of course. First icon and second icon are, of course, only names, and you can name it using whatever base name you would like. Now that we have the files in the right location, we can declare on the icons within our info.plist file. Don't worry, I've attached the necessary text tag as a resource, so you may copy it and use it. Okay, great. Now you can go ahead, generate the app binary, and send it to the App Store for for them to approve the version and make it available in the App Store. After you do that, you can start A-B testing your icon as well. You need to keep in mind that as opposed to Google Play, on the App Store, the search always shows the users not only the icon, but also the app preview video and the screenshots. Therefore, the icon has a higher impact in Google Play's search results than in the App Store. But it is still a very important visual element in both App Stores. Good luck experimenting with the new App Store product page optimization.